Welcome to another five stamp layout. So I can't remember. It's been a while. Like I used to do these grab my gears day videos. They were like five stamp layout, but I like rebranded them. And it's since because I talk more pop culture than anything and things going on in the world. But yeah, we're doing the five stamp layout like this today because I've got to film some things. Got to film some TikToks and some other things. So I figured that we'll do it like this. So next week there will not be no five stamp loud. Um, what else won't there be? No fight scene allows, um, no TV show reviews. Um, y'all, y'all will see why when I do that vlog, but I just decided to like take a break once again. Like your girl always taking freaking breaks. She can't help it. Like breaks are important, whether it's when you switch media job, your work job, whatever, like you just need a break. So one of the first topics I actually had, if I could find it, where did they go? Okay, so we're going to start with Old Navy. So me, myself, I don't shop at Old Navy that much. The closest Old Navy is like an hour from here. So I don't really shop there like that. We're going to go in with some of this Julie's. Now, Nicole's has changed into um, Sephora, which is fine and all, but kind of wish they had their like old makeup so because y'all know i already got done with my day day so just trying to cover this up because that's a main area where somebody with pcos has to cover up i've seen some people on tiktok they got it worse off than me or they have whole beards and like everything i will talk more about that like pcos at a later date because i don't think i've actually went into detail I think it's important to like educate each other, not try to kill each other. Like y'all doing in Nigeria, like that mass shooting in Nigeria killed like 18 people. And like why? And then the one out here where people, um, yeah, I'm gonna use my new brushes y'all cause got me some new brushes. These were like $4.99, <laughs> cheap.com. But, um, yeah, it's like, how dare y'all? Like, what audacity? Like, I don't like using these for real. I might have to just do my whole face. Um, What pos possesses people to do stuff like that? I just don't understand at all. Like, at all. Why do people do that? They did that. They There was a stabbing at a hospital. Um, there was, it's just terrible to see just terrible i also do videos like this just you know with music in the background and stuff like that might as well just go all on in oh i found my lash glue i might have to buy me another one got this one for amazon so yeah hopefully i can wear some lashes this week because summer is not coming one of the main reasons i like summer is because i can show my shoulders and show my legs because those are like the main body parts i like to show for real and um yeah, it's just, it's too much going on in the world. People need to go get help or go get a cold shower or I don't know why people have so much hate in their heart. But enough with the sadness. We need to talk about Old Navy, okay? So I was looking up some, I was on TikTok because that's where you get all the best news at. Um, Old Navy said it is removing inclusive sizing and it's, um... U.S. stores, I think that's kind of messed up. Well, not kind of. It is messed up, okay? Because I've always had hips. I've always had curves, even, you know, smaller. Way smaller than they are now. But, like, it's nice. Like, I still have a skirt for them. It's a size 14. And it still kind of fits, you know? To the best of its standards that it can fit, you know? And I think that's kind of sad to see that they would like I mean Billy Bender I found one I just think that's wrong because there's a lot of stuff sizes and everybody's like you know I'm a bigger girl well not bigger but you know like curvier on the bottom and like 
Some of them skinny jeans do not do it for me. Some of them, like, I have this cute dress. It's blue. And, like, uh, I need to get that junior section, of course. Because I like, I only like to go in the junior section for, like, the shirts for real. Because I don't really wear the pants. Because the pants don't really um fit right. Let me just finish this off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, and that's where the best we're going to be with that. I just think that... There should be inclusive sizing in every store, all stores. But sadly, when it comes to someone that weighs over a size 8, I'd say, it's kind of hard to, you know, find your size. So, there's that. Um, let me see what was the next shop topic. The Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trial. I've been getting asked, like, at least by two people... Are y'all gonna talk about, am I gonna talk about this? You know, what's your opinions? What's your thoughts and everything? I honestly think they're both stupid. I think there's stuff going on on both ends, but I feel like it was good to see that not only domestic abuse or whatever it was gets recognized on the man's, the woman's side, but get recognized on the man's side too, because there's been, there are men that get abused. They just don't tell their story, you know, so it was kind of nice to see that from that end, but I'm so glad it's over. I'm so glad that they're done talking about it because it feels like they have been talking about it for months, you know, like four months and it's over now. So I am using my um, Mean Girls palette. I'm going to get um, using Get In Loser. Some of Pro Fusion's palettes are good. And some of them are bad because like this one's profusion and this one right here what is this revolution or profusion this one is not a very good palette because like you have to build it on like all those pastels you got to build it on build it on build it on and i don't like that next one is the real ending i feel like they should have had everybody back that was ever on the show amanda too um i don't think she was a. Uh, like, she was, they asked her to come on to, you know, be a co-host. And, like, they didn't even mention her. They didn't show her in the thumbnail. Like, they showed Garcelle. They showed Tamar. They showed everybody. Like, was was Amanda a permanent one? Or was she, like, temporary? Because I'd like to know. Like, I'm confused for all. I'm confused. I am very confused. Just keep on layering, ladies. Keep on layering. I think I'm just going to do like a little pink and purple action. So I love doing that. And I've always, like I could do a pretty good red ombre. But I want to do a, a pink one. So I don't know what colors to use for that. And then Amanda was mad about it because they didn't mention her girl. No offense because you were kind of annoying. Like I understand everybody wants to be woke. Be about the issues, the racial issues, black issues, all that. I am too. But you were kind of like overdoing it, you know, in a sense I would say. So, I was kind of happy you were gone. And plus, you kept interrupting people. And you were just annoying. I was sad when Tamar left. Like, I get it. Stuff happened behind the scenes. But I was sad. And then once Tamara left, because Tamara brought a lot to the show. But, um, you know, maybe, because I don't share, maybe she has different political views than the rest of them had. You know, maybe that could have been a factor. Because... Uh, I'm okay with people having different views, but that's when people try to shove their views down your throat. I don't really like that, you know. Um, the next one is the cheating boyfriend mama's ashes. So I don't know if it was on, um, what was it? It was on TikTok first or the shade room. There was a whole issue going on that this mama was mad. This woman was mad because her boyfriend cheated and she decided to throw his astro, the mother, ugh, I can't talk and do makeup at the same time. This definitely won't be happening again because I'm having a hard time. Um, they, she threw his mother's ashes in the river along with the urn just because he cheated. Be mad at her. Be mad at him, not the mama. The mama not here to defend her son. So what's wrong with you? Like some men are just cheating a-holes. Like for real. They're just cheaters. Um, and then Monique and DL Huey. I gotta actually look this one up. Um, 
I was gonna do vlogly like I did somewhere else last year. That was where I vlogged every day of July. But honey, honey, we ain't doing that because I made a promise to myself uh, at the beginning of the year that I would not do weekly vlogs until like October and December because Vlogtober and Vlogmas are the two months I love to vote vlog the most because it's all the fall stuff and uh, all the other stuff too. So yeah. So here's everything that's happened between Monique and D.L. Hewley. Um, we're actually about to go in with a different color. We're gonna do Boo You Whore. <laughs> I love this. Like they said on Wednesdays, we wear pink. Nah, we doing this on a Monday, even though y'all getting this on a Tuesday. Y'all get what I'm saying, G. Y'all get what I'm saying. I might put on some lashes. I think some lashes will look really pretty with this look. But again, I gotta do that off camera because I'll be having a hard time, you know, with that. Yeah, like some of these looks I do, they look like they need some. So, uh, y'all don't understand the fight. I had to go through the stand in front of y'all tonight. That's what the blank Monique is the last one. Blah, blah, blah. I think she had said something about his daughter. But um, yeah, that's enough of the pop culture stuff. I just wanted to say some videos y'all could look forward to. So I'm not vlogging this week, but there will be two vlogs next week. Like I'm gonna start. Well, I just looked at the timing. It said that it was oh, and over 12 minutes. I don't like to make my fight scene last that long. I gotta finish off camera. Um, I'll post a picture of the look um, sometime tomorrow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I know this feisty live was a little unconventional, but yeah, after next week, because I'm not filming nothing. I'm going to try not to film nothing, but yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Bye.